So we've already gone through, we have our high res broken up into animatable pieces. So trigger high, cylinder high, barrel high. And uh, we want to export this as our high res with all these underscore highs. So this is where we go into Z plugin, um, FBX exporter, visible, S normals, export. S normals keeps your file size way down. Export, and then you're good to go. Now, if you wanted to do a low res for all of these, what you can do is, uh, you know, you've already exported your file, you already saved it, and now you want to do um, decimate these down. Now, for example, like this barrel, if you go through here, these are made up of actual separate separate pieces. So if you just decimated these down, like all these pieces right in here would be decimated as separate objects. But in this case, it's like, well, no, I don't want this to be one solid piece, like in a solid envelope, like we've talked about before. So in that case, you're going to use a uh, double couple different ways you can do this. But one way I would probably do it is just use Dynamesh. So turn on project, turn off blur, um, Dynamesh at whatever resolution you want to, it's essentially doing the voxelize step and sub and Houdini, if you've watched that series, you're just voxelizing this, you're dynameshing this together to get a nice envelope. And then you, now if I hold down control shift, grab a little piece, control shift A, it's all one solid object. We don't have like little bitty pieces all stuck together. So this is the start of our game res. And then from this point, you can go into decimation master and pre-process current, decimate it down to whatever you want and you're in good shape. Now, what if you wanted to do that for all of your objects at the same time? Let's go back and turn everything else back on. So instead of doing that one by one, which you certainly can do, um, if you want to uh, do this all at once, there's a plugin called Z Repeat It. So we'll go here to instructions here. Essentially, go to Subtool, All High. That's going to ensure that your subtools, and that's just in here. I'll show you where that is. Uh, subtool, All High. That goes through your subtools and makes sure that everything's at the highest subdivision level. And this one we don't need anymore. And then Z plugin, subtool master, do visible. You want to resolve your duplicate names. Ideally, when you're going through an under naming under sky whore, make under sky underscore high, make sure you're not repeating your subtool names because decimation master, when it's going through, it's going to go, these two subtools have the same name. It has to export files that it needs. And when it does that, if they have the same name, it's going to have an error. So just make sure you resolve your duplicate names. Um, do visible resolve duplicate names is just going to throw a one, I believe, at the end. So do this and then look for any ones and go, oh, this was renamed. I need to rename this something completely different. Um, now, Z repeat it. Z repeat it. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. It's it's early and my brain is gone. Um, Z repeat it. Uh, you can set it to Dynamesh at whatever value you want. So when we Dynamesh this, you can see we have a value of turn off project, turn off blur, uh, say a resolution of 736 is what we wanted. And we want it. If the reason why we want to dynamesh everything at the same resolution is so when we decimate and we do our percentage, it's uh, somewhat predictable. Uh, it's not a huge deal. If it doesn't work perfectly, you can go through and change it up at the fact. But essentially, if this value works for you, what we can do is let's undo that. Let's go down here to dynamesh. So we said 768 is the number we like. So we're going to go down here to Z repeat it. We're going to say record new. And while it's recording, I'm going to say you know, turn off project, turn off blur, take your resolution, do like 758 and or 760, hit Dynamesh, and then end record. We'll call this Dynamesh 760. And now you can repeat to visible Dynamesh 760. It'll go through, um, would you like to free start this before? End? Oh, that's another thing too. Hit no. Before you do this, um, go through and delete your lower subdivision levels. That's another thing you can actually use to repeat it for. So now if we go through here, you're going to see all of these things have been dynameshed at that resolution. And now what we can do is uh, you can also use remesh by union if you want to, but uh, this is going to give you an unpredictable poly count. Um, so you take your desired end poly count. So if we want to do calculator, Let's say we want this gun to be like 25,000 polygons. So we're going to take our uh, 25,000 polygons, which is um, the point count's going to be 50. So we're going to go 50,000 points and polygon divide by your polygon total. So we're going to, we want 50,000 points, but right now we're sitting at uh, 549, so 550,000 active points. So uh, 50,000 divided by 550,000 active points gives us a percentage of one, two, uh, 9%. So if I go through here and I do decimation master pre-process all, it'll go through, I'm not going to do this on the front of the demo because it's going to sit here watching a progress bar go, uh, but it's going to go through and pre-process all of my subtools. And then I can go to uh, decimate all and I can put in that percentage 
9%, decimate everything, and it'll decimate everything down 9%. Now, once it does that, so let's, I'm just gonna do it for this one here. We'll say we did pre-process all, and then we did per percentage of decimation down to 9% decimate current. Uh, this is the result you would end up getting, uh, and if you did this times all of these subtools, you'd get around 25,000 polygons. Now you can go through here individually and go, you know what, this is a little high. That's okay, you've already pre-processed all of these, so all you can do is alt click on it and go, you know what, I want this to be dropped down to like, if we want to drop this down to like 1K polys, we can decimate current, or we can put this up to like 1, 1.5 decimate current, and you can kind of dial in exactly what resolution you want for the individual pieces. So just a kind of a quick way to get your low res here. Of course, you can do this all in Houdini. You can do this in any program you'd like, but that's just a quick way to do that. You can also go through here and rename these underscore low. Um, although really, I found that if you leave them underscore high and then go to Z plugin, Z plugin FBX export, and you just export these again, export them with these uh, settings, you can keep it underscore high and it'll still match the names. It doesn't have to be underscore low, um, but you're, it, it, they may have changed that. Uh, so at the end of the day, once you've done this, so we have the high res here, and then we decimated this down, threw some just auto UVs on it, threw it in the painter, drag and drop onto my material IDs, do a little custom painting. And again, all of this stuff, the basics of this is all in that sci-fi pistol series. So at that point, now you have a weapon that looks like this in game. And again, we're talking just a day's worth of work just to guide, you know, block out a high res quickly. And it, you know, we have a one button solution to certain affinity so we can skip a lot of that manual work in ZBrush, but you can do it manually in ZBrush. It doesn't take you too long. And uh, here's that weapon that uh, we were just working on, all cleaned up and in game. And again, these are just concept sketches, nothing, um, nothing crazy. And then you can go into Unreal. So the decimation is animatable topology when we speak of weapons or mechs, sure, and because, and hell, even the character with this topology, it can work. If I, if I was to take this here, and it's not going to work great for like, if you're doing uh, exporting out to, for IMAX, super close up of like deformations, but for video games, just getting something representative in game, you can zero mesh if it makes you feel better. But honestly, if I was to do, again, we'll just do decimation master preprocess current and we'll decimate this down to like say 8K polys. Uh, if I took this in the game and I copied weights from like a base body and threw it in and he ran around, would he deform beautifully? No, but would he be able to run around and do stuff? Of course. Um, it wouldn't, it, like his elbows might be a little sharp, but when you're running around in game and they're like, they look like this and they're just shooting and firing and running and dodging and weaving and you know, motion blur and stuff, you don't notice. So getting something representative like this in game and all this, uh, she was just decimated. She, there, she wasn't like nicely animated topology loops. It's, that's just a waste of time in the early stages. When you get into refining, then you have to be a little bit more careful, but for now, that's all it is.